for sale? What? Can't you? Yes. I'm begging. It's the price of a baby. Yes. Let's go there and see. To me, from Atu. How is Mama? Is, is she okay? Brother. Yes. Mama is very sick. And she's at the point of death. You mean Mama is at the point of death? Yes, brother. We have decided to take her to the money village. But we don't have the money. And it's a custom service. No. No. <laughs> Mama must not die, Femato. Femato. Stop this crying, right? Right now, as I'm talking to you, the chief is not around. But just stop this crying. Come take it. Let me just rush to the palace and see with his Ella wife. Don't be worried, Hassana. What is it that box your mind? Look at it. It's about my mother. And what's about your mother? <laughs> she is useless sick. And she is at the point of death. Oh, the gods of our land. So what are you planning now, Hassana? <laughs> that is why I have come to beg your leave and request for some money. Since Chief has traveled far off, For sure, you need a lot of money to take home and attend to your sick mother. In fact, Yakari, my younger sister is waiting for me now. Hasana, you are not going now. But I will give you some money to take home anyway. <laughs> Yakari, I beg of you in the name of the gods. I'm talking about my sick mother. She is really sick and I am the only son of that woman. Did you think it is necessary for me to be here at once? You will leave tomorrow sunrise. You will take a lot of money home with you. Also, your mother will be okay. But Yankari, you've never acted so kindly like this before. Are you doing all these things without condition? No. I am doing this under one big condition. But and if you accept it, I will do much more. Yakari, under one big condition. Oh yes, under one big condition. Yakari, mm -hmm. I have served your husband and this chief done quite a long time. But if you, Yakari, insist to sympathize with me this way, then I have no option. Because my poor mother is at the point of time. 
I am not forcing you to accept the condition behind it. I only told you I will do much more than what you are expecting. If only you accept it. Yakari, mm -hmm. can I please know this condition? Mm. Well, let us find a more conducive place and discuss. Is that okay by you? Yes. Asana. Asana, I've already placed the job correctly. And she said, Listen, but don't forget all what we have planned, okay? Please, don't forget what we have planned. Go now at once. Hurry! Go. Good chance for your career. Great to pass away. I greet you also, your career. So how is everything today? Everything is all right. I say thank God of our forefathers. I know. Everything is supposed to be all right. Because you are just a newly married man. <laughs> <laughs> but don't mind me, it's just a joke. I'm not I don't know you do you mean? It's a joke. It's a joke. Okay. <laughs> but Chief, your wife Posse is supposed to be here helping around. But she reluctantly stayed in her house for a reason I can't tell. Hmm? What really happened? I don't know. Let me check for myself. Must have chosen that hood. You are right. Chief Kokora have ordered that we finish him or never return to his court as guard. Yes. What if we don't succeed? I think I can turn it around by telling him we did it. That just can't work. Remember, he told us to return with his dead body. Come on, let's go. 
and tradition of this land must remain the same way of life among the people of this land. Therefore, Posse must be thrown into an evil forest with no chance of survival. Hey, yes. my chief, this is the most terrible thing that has ever happened in this land. Why are some women so callous with their marital pride? Indeed, our pride has been reduced. For no one amongst us expects such a thing to have happened to great Kokura, the man who controls the pride and staff of this land. Cause of our ancestors, pardon us, for indeed, we must have offended you. Elders of Kokura's court, as tradition of this court permit, we must also hear Apostle speak. <laughs> Since we cannot interpret why the gods are still silent, it can be for any reason. According to the tradition of this land, Posse is now an illegitimate child of this land. She must be thrown into evil forest with no chance of survival. It has been our custom for ages to consult the gods and allow them to speak before decision like this is taken. Just 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 I can understand that our leader is greatly angry over the action of his wife. But I still advise that he waits for the God to so speak. No one will convince me wrongly. I must secure 
the custom and tradition of this land. Who can interpret the gods to favor an illegitimate child like this? Person must be thrown into an evil forest. I strongly support the decisions of our chief to uphold the customs and traditions of our land. She must be banished to an evil forest. Elders of our land, our chief, to avoid calamities, she must be thrown to the evil forest. Yes. Well, let me bring this to your notice, that for the decision we are about to take, I bear no hands in. You can even leave. You can go. You can leave. <laughs> <laughs> I know that the two of you are thinking that Posse is innocent over the whole issue. Uh -huh. And myself and Kadi, Yakadi, has plotted against her. <laughs> Guards! Take her away! Take her away immediately! <laughs>
tradition of our ancestor mm -hmm. for ages. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let those who remain behind avoid the dangers of breaking any of the taboos Jim. of this land. <laughs> <laughs> we only regret it now that the gods are speechless. Who knows? The gods may be having their own judgments. Now that the chief and some of the elders have decided that person be thrown into the evil forest. <laughs> <laughs> I command. Farewell, my daughter. Farewell. Go! Go, <laughs> 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 Go on, my daughter. 
Oh, my friend, how are you? I'm fine, as you can see. I can see. How is Mama and Papa doing? Mama and Papa? They are doing fine. <laughs> but you know we have a lot to discuss about. Why mm -hmm. you fail to fulfill it? We have a lot of work to do. To Always do a all. lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. How is Abu? Forget about Abu. In fact, where are you heading for? So, um, of course. I can see. <laughs> Abu, Abu. That's why you fail to fulfill the promise. I know. <laughs> Theater, mm -hmm. but you know we have a lot to discuss about, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Theater, oh, my sister, have you heard the gossip around this village? Yes. A lot 
of gossip is going around this village about possible punishment to the evil forest. Yes. Siata. But I mean the reason why the gods are silenced over Porsche's punishment. I am pleased to know my ears are open. <laughs> you know that my grandfather is one of the elders who assisted with Kabonka for him to visit. Mm -hmm. I overheard him last night telling my father that the gods have started wasting to Kabonka that Porsche. Continue. That the gods have started with that we spray to Kabonka that Porsche is in your sense. Uh -huh. Are you sure of what you are saying? Are you expecting me to make a joke out of that? I swear by the gods of the land that I overheard them. Oh poor girl. I feel so sorry for her. Oh. Will this not end up bringing calamity in our land? I am sure, for it is an abomination also to wrongly cause the death of someone. Just make sure you keep this a secret for now. I know. I always shared it with you because you are my closest friend. I, I hope so. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Okay. 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 I'm fine. I can go to, to my mama. Siata. Okay. Then I'm waiting to my man for fun. Okay. <laughs> Be careful with it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let me continue with my work. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. It's of the best thing I are great. Yeah, daddy. 
You are one month pregnant. What? Oh, thank the gods of our land. Thank the gods of our land. Yeba! Yes, Akadi. Please rush to my husband at once and tell him the good news. I will, Akadi. Is something running after you? No, great son. Great father, father. Yako has just proved that your wife is a month pregnant. You mean my wife Yakadi is a month pregnant? Yes, great son. Are you really sure of what you are saying? Yes, great son. You may come and prove it yourself, great son. May the cause of our forefathers. Bless her womb. My daughter, you may go now and leave me in joy. Thank you, Great of God spoke to me that God has surely seen the affliction of his people who are in Libesi Gahun and have heard their cry by reason of their tax maker but he knows their sorrows their evil customs and traditions 
have reclaimed the lives of innocent people, but they are a chosen generation. A royal na nation set aside to see the mighty and marvelous things the Lord will do to a long-awaited people. But they've well been deceived by the evil of certain gods they believe are supreme to them. Oh, Heavenly Father, for the elders refuse to allow us land to build our parish or even to accommodate us lodging. Brethren, the Bible says that in the days of John the Baptist, God's kingdom suffered violence. And by violence, it was taken. No one has the power to challenge the power of the Almighty God. So we must be ready to challenge their powers. Yes, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. The Lord will be us as he had been with Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego in Babylon. Help them, O God of our salvation for the glory of thy name, and deliver them and forge away their sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Superior. Good morning, Superior. Good morning, Good morning Father. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Father. Oh, gods 
of our forefathers. You have remained silent for so long now. Your people are pleading for rain on their plantations. They have come from the virgin girl to offer a sacrifice to appease you so that rain can come forth. They are pleading with you. Let rain come forth now. May the gods be pleased with the dear life of this virgin. Let the sacrifice go on. people have come back to disturb the peace of our land. No, we have not come to disturb the peace of your land. We are here because our God, who is also your God in heaven, have heard your supplication and cry for rain on your plantation. He also cared for the life of this child you are about to destroy because of rain. If your God cannot give you rain unless you destroy the life of an innocent child, then our God our Father in heaven rain for free. The rain that poured down on the soil. The moon that gives its light at night. The sun that shines during the day. And even the stars that twinkle at night. All belong to him. He created them all. Yes, superior. He is the God who created you. I mean you. And all your children. In fact, those that your tradition condemn, who makes mistakes, our Father in heaven forgives them when they repent their sins, even you. The Lord loves you so much as he loves us all. For that reason, he gave his only son to die for you and for us all. Oh God, our Father in heaven, full of compassion and grace, long-suffering, bountiful in mercy and truth, show these people a token of your goodness that you are the God that answered it by fire, and you are the God that answered it by rain. Send down rain to water their plantations and have enough produce to feed on.
Jesus whenever I come. And overheating. The radiator is dry and we've run out of water. I think the nearest and where we can get water is four miles away from here. And it will soon get dark. But I can see cane trees at the edge of this forest. There must be a river running beyond. Yes, father. You are right. Well, I want to suggest three of us go to look for water while one person stays behind to look after the vehicle. You can wait here, Superior. The three of us can go on the search. Just make sure that you three be careful. I had a voice. Listen. Yes, Father. It's a human voice. Somebody is crying. Mm -hmm. I think it must be this way. You mean this way? Let us go there. Yes, Father. Child of God. Yes. Let's hurry there. Oh, 
welcome, sister. We are the fathers of the St. Joseph Parish in the Konike village. We are God's children. Who told you about him? I couldn't recollect the person exactly. But, but he was dressed in a white robe. And, and also have wigs. So what did the angel tell you exactly? <laughs> the people in my village. Accused, condemned, and threw me into this forest to die. Oh God. <laughs> but the very Louis told me that I have a father who is God in heaven, and that he loves me so much that he will not come. Condemn me. In fact, Father, the wing man told me that our Father in heaven has, has once demonst demonstrated his, his love for us by giving his only son Jesus to die on the cross. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. For our sins. And it was that same father who has given me food and lots of protection since the day I was, I was brought into this, this evil forest. Sister, you are saved. We are your brothers in Christ Jesus. The Lord shall save the people of Libisega through you. I greet you, great one. You are welcome, my daughter. And what brings you to this shrine? There is a serious problem with my child and his father. And the chief asked me to come and see you. And what is really the problem with your child? Well, he screamed terribly in the middle of the night. Ah! Uh -huh. Something that needs to be treated seriously. The gods are not pleased with your child for a very strong reason. I need to. 
to come solve them this night to know the cause. But why are the gods so partial? Is this not the child that the entire Lebe singer who had been waiting to receive? Is he not the next mighty ruler of our land and people? The gods. Yes. Only the gods know. And have to decide it. Are the gods changing the customs and traditions of our land? It is known widely in this land that the Kokoras are the ruling house. And my child Kande must succeed his father. The gods are wiser than man. They demanded the customs and traditions of this land. Yes, the customs and traditions of this land. Customs and traditions. Customs and traditions. Customs. Traditions. Jenny, I come and laugh. What's wrong with you? Hmm? You want to sleep? Okay, let's just listen to a few words of God. Okay? Now, uh, I'm going to teach you about the story of Samuel and Eli in the Bible. My son, during the time when young Samuel was ministered unto the Lord on that day, his eyes had grown lately so weak that he couldn't see. One night, young Samuel was asleep in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God went. That very night, my son, Samuel had a voice calling, Samuel, Samuel. You know what he did? He woke up, watching all along and looking for the person that called his name. He couldn't see anybody. He ran to Eli and said, here I am, you called me. And Eli said, my son, I didn't call you, go back to sleep. So young Samuel went back to sleep. No sooner later, he had another voice called his name. And he ran again to Eli and said, Eli, here I am, you called me. And Eli said, I didn't call you my son, go back to your sleeping place. He went. The third time he went to Eli, Eli told him, whenever you heard a voice called you, just say, speak my Lord, for your servant is listening. And that was what exactly young Samuel did. So far so good, Jeremiah. This story is meant for you. I want you to act as Samuel and be like Samuel forever. Always listen to the voice of God. Do you know where God is? Watch up. Up. Watch up. Jeremiah, watch up. You don't know where God is. I know you want to sleep, but let's say the rosary and go back to sleep, okay? Yeah. 
Challenging our parts by teaching our children to revolt against the gods of our ancestors. We will teach you the greatest lesson of your lifetime. You are ignorant, Kabonka. Hmm. The Bible tells us that you must declare and testify in the Lord. Do in the futility of your mind. Huh. Darkness of your understanding alienated from the life of God because of your ignorance, because of your hardness of life. God was not to church is anointed and do any harm to his prophets. Qualify! So, you have the audacity to speak to me freely. But, teach them to obey. Lord, he said in the words in Psalm 50 verse 15 that we must call upon you in the days of trouble. I therefore release the Holy Ghost fire upon you. Amen. Holy Ghost fire! Amen. Holy Ghost fire! Amen. Holy Ghost fire! Amen. Holy Ghost fire! Amen. Good morning, Father Sophia. Ah, good morning, Father Jeremiah. Please come. Yes, Father. Ah, good morning. Yes, Father. Did you hold a meeting up with the youth yesterday? Yes, Father, I did. Okay, thank God. I know you will always do God's job. Uh, God spoke to me yesterday night. About what? He really wants you to take its words to the people of Libese Gahun, Father Jeremiah. Yes, Father. Those people are completely lost. And we've been struggling for the past 20 years now to establish a parish in their community. Father Jeremiah. Yes, Father. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 14, that even so, it is not the will of our Father in heaven that these little ones must perish. And it further says in Luke chapter 15, verse 7, that there is great joy in heaven for one sinner that repents than the 99 righteous persons that need no repentance. I know that this is a difficult task for you, 
but be strong and courageous like Joshua. And the good Lord we serve is always with you. Thank you, Father Superior. Father Superior, I am ready to do anything for the sake of our founder. The Bible says we must go out to every nation and preach his gospel. I am ready to do that. Two other brothers will have to go along with you. Yes, ma'am. May the Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I want you to hug me. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too, Mama. Mama? Yes, my son. Are you okay? Yes, my son. I'm more than okay. Because my Father in heaven blesses me with all such blessings. And we are here asking if I'm okay. I'm more than okay. Mama, he promised to supply our needs according to his riches in heaven. In fact, Father Superior asks that you go for your monthly allowance and provisions. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mama. Praise be to my Father in heaven. That means he has provided me with all my needs throughout these years. I will do that first thing. In the morning. Mama, I have good news to share with you. Mm, my son. Yes, Mama. I'm happy to listen. The Holy Spirit directed for the superior to lead me out on a mission to spread God's word to the Gentiles. Praise be to my Father in heaven. Mama, yes, I must have to be away for some time. Uh, let me bring you water. Yes, Mama. I'm waiting and just be patient. Okay, Mama. Mm -hmm. um. My son, Kande, among you? No, chief, he's not with us. Kande! Kande, where is this naughty boy? Kande! Come, hurry! Come on! Come, my son, come sit down here. Your father wants you here. Chief Kokura, your son, Kande, is here. Let my wife, Yakadi, go into my room and bring my staff of honor. Uh, 
elders in this court, our great leader, Chief Kunkura Manso, is badly sick and cannot even move by himself. He has someone else to come as he is going to hand over the staff of honor and Chief Tensi to his only son, Kande Kunkura Manso. Is chasing you. We, Speak! We caught the three white gamut people. Yes, we caught them telling people wrong things about the goals of our land. Oh. Go and bring them right before here. We shall deal with them seriously. People of Libisinga land, let the ceremony continue. Land. I summon you all here today to witness this memorable day of our land. I have not much time to join my ancestors in the spirit world. <laughs> the gods have decided it so. I have ruled Libisenga homeland with a strong hands. I know those who will live after me <coughs> may always remember me in good thoughts. Mm -hmm. Today, my people, I'm going to pass the staff of honor to Abomination, abomination, people of Lebesigahun land. The gods are angry. 
as never before. Never as in the days of our forefathers. They have promised our land calamities. Calamities that we claim the lives of children and grown-ups. Please tell us, how have the people of Libisengam offended the land? The child that Libisengam is about to crown is illegitimate. Kande must not be crowned. He is an illegitimate son to Chief Kokora. Yakade must confess this. Or else, Lebese Gahun will be drowned in calamities. Deadly calamities! Have the gods whispered to you who this nigga son is? Move! Let's go! He is the true son! He is the chosen one! He must be crowned! You are a deceiver! You are a deceiver! <laughs> oh, come on, come! You tell me! If my son is not to be crowned, then who else is Kokoran's son? Now you tell me all the girls of my land! Hear me all the girls of my land! Oh. <laughs> oh, the girls of my land! Come on, girl, you are a deceiver! You are a deceiver, come on, girl! Come on, girl, you are a deceiver! <laughs> Possess child! Possess child! It's the chosen one. He's the only legitimate son to Chief Kokora. Here he comes in his white garments. This young man is the true son to Chief Kokora. Possess was in a month's pregnancy when she was thrown into the evil forest. She survived it all and is presently alive. This can't be true. Porsche was caught sleeping with another man who was responsible for any pregnancy she should carry. Keep quiet, Abu Kase. You are one of the bugs that eats up the fabric of this land. Do you know more than the gods? Or can you see further than them? All gods of our land. Reveal the truth to your people as you revealed it to me. Hey, what is it? Mama. Mama, tell me. What is it, Mama? I must confess. I must confess. Yes, I must confess, people of Lebesega. <laughs> I must confess, people of Lebesega. <laughs> I must confess, my chief. Jose is innocent. I was the one that slept with Asada. Chief Kokoro suffered. <laughs> Forgive me, my people. I did this because I wanted my son to rule this land after his father. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me, my chief. Forgive me, elders. My son. Please, my son. Forgive me. Forgive me, my people. Of Let me say, God, oh, I plead. I plead to you to forgive me. I did this because I wanted my son to rule this land after his father. <laughs> Young man, you have had all this shock strain and shocking occurrence. We are pleading that you give us information that will qualify you to secure the throne of our land. Who are your parents? Marimu Torimi and Fama Fumamu. Wondo, who are the fire? Cause be upon you, Yakadi. You ruin my pride and betray the future of this land. I shall speak to you, but I'm not speaking to you because of your crown. My father in heaven will put a crown on my head when the battle is over. My mother 
Sister Magdalene used to tell me that she came from a land where her people rejected her. Your mother is right, son. I long ago advised that we wait and listen for the gods to speak. And now there is trouble. Oh, yes. The wise garments people are going to have the powers of our land. And their God shall be our God. <coughs> Impossible. Impossible. Oh, yes. This shall be possible because of your stupidity. Is this not a trick by the white garment people to rule our land? Let them come with posse and we shall give them the crown. If you can release us, I shall bring my mother before this court before sunrise tomorrow. Go help my son and bring my wife home to have my final blessing. The throne shall be yours. Yakari must be torn down publicly <laughs> at the town square tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Believe me, if you succeed in killing that stupid white garment man, I shall give you a large portion of land. And when I become the next chief of this land, I shall give you a high title that will make you rich and be respectful for the rest of your life. Listen, Kande, nothing can make me fail in doing this. In fact, it is easy like drinking water. Do you know how many people have killed with my witch gun? Yeah. Tomorrow by now, you'll be a dead man and you'll be enjoying your throne. Even the gods would be pleased with you for stopping the white garment people to trample on the values of our customs and traditions. I shall take my leave now. Mamuto, you make my pain. Oh my God, Gale, I get too young. I'm not going to pay for people who go. I did it, man. I'm not going to wear my mask. I'm not going to be with you. Okay. Okay. Bye, bye. Oh my God, Gale, Nina, Apo, yo. Ilanemu, Ilanemu. May the good Lord bless us all. Amen. Brothers, Sister Magdalene, when God speaks, it shall be manifested. Father Jeremiah, yes, Father. Chief Kukura Mansu of Lebese Gahun Chiefdom, is truly your father. And the truth is legally yours. God spoke these words to your mother when you were still in a womb. God promised to deliver his people through you. Brothers, we all are living for the village right now, where you'll become and have total dominion of the entire land. We will establish the largest parish in that community. Yes. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. We will then destroy their shrines and put an end to their barbaric customs and traditions. Amen. In Jesus' name. My son. Yes, my mom. That is the land of your people. God allow all this to happen to me. Because 